What's up, T-Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All T All Shade, Love and Marriage DC, Season 2, Episode 18, Review. So the episode begins with Winter linking up with Joy and asking what she was feeling when she left the cabin trip. And Joy makes the comment, what did you experience? You sat idly by. And I was like, well, that was very pointed, like, what was she supposed to do? You act like you was getting jumped or something like that. The lady was literally just trying to have a conversation with you and you were being rude and standoffish. You were closed off. She wasn't attacking you, but you were, your guard was up as soon as the lady came into the room. So I didn't really care for that comment for real. And you and Joy ain't, fr I mean, you and Winter ain't even friends like that for you to be even looking for her to stick up for you. So... Joy stands firm that black isn't who everyone thinks he, that he is. And she says, I got one apology and it was from Yusha. So Winter is shocked by this news because she had no idea that he'd reached out to her. And I would have had a problem with that too. Cause first of all, you're not a part of this show. You, my dude. Okay. You don't even know this woman. Y'all weren't friends. Y'all didn't communicate prior. So why are you going behind my back, reaching out to my castmate and telling her you sorry for what happened? Red flag, flag on a plate. Like, excuse you, sir. Like, that's so out of pocket and out of line. And if you have not watched my expose video on the behind the scenes tea on what was really going down between Winter and Yusha, it is up now. You must watch it. Once again, Winter didn't have any ill will or feelings towards Joy. Her problem was with Yusha because she found out that he was basically using her for clout and to get on this show. And it seemed to me based off what I was told, like he might've had a thing for joy. And then on top of that, why are you contacting another man's wife? If I was cliffed on, I really would have had an issue with that. Like, why are you calling my wife? Like, what, what's the tea? Like, what's going on? Like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so Ashley has an art therapy little event where she invites the girls minus joy and, uh, I love doing stuff like that. Like I literally paint myself. I do paint by numbers and it's so therapeutic. It's so a stress reliever. You can do it while you're watching television, listening to music, listening to an audible or whatever. It's just so relaxing and it's beautiful when it's done, by the way. So, um, she talks about how her mom is not speaking to her since her book came out. And mind you, her mother hasn't even read the book yet. So she's just mad about the fact that Ashley told the world that she left her in the house by herself for almost a year or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But I was like, it was already spoken on on the show. So, and, and you did it. Like it cracked me up when parents don't want to take accountability for the things that they did. They want to gloss over it and act like we're putting too much on it. Like, no, ma'am, you did that. So everything has a cause and effect to it. You know what I'm saying? So Winter was like, um, have we gotten to a place where the Cliftons are invited? And uh, Arena was like, it's the Petties. And she was like, no, I call them the Cliftons. So Arena in her confessional says that Winter acts shady towards Joy when she gets around her friends and says that she's going to go and tell Joy, um, how she was basically, you know, making fun of their name or whatever. And, you know, acting funny, according to her. And, um, she was like, it's really shady because they're trying to build a friendship. And I was like, this is the problem. This is one of the problems with this show is I understand it's a television show when you're supposed to go spill the tea and all of that type of stuff. But, like you're creating unnecessary drama. It's already enough drama going on with this group where it's split in half pretty much. So you going back and running, telling her something like that, which is not even a big deal to even go run back to tell somebody is just further going to put a wedge in this group. 
So I don't even know, like, how do you film next season? Like, unless Carlos, if everybody decides to come back, which I've heard everybody is not coming back, Carlos needs to have a conversation with them like he did with Huntsville, where y'all gonna have to let bygones be bygones and move past this because it's ruining the show because we know that y'all don't like each other. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really know how that's gonna work. Um, so Ashley says that she texts Joy because she hadn't heard from her since they'd been back from the trip. And she thought that Joy would have reached out to her seeing that she wanted to have the conversation. But I was like, it's semantics at this point. You didn't want to have the conversation when she did. So she was then waiting on you to give her a call. So you called her point blank and the period. So, um, after that, we see Winter confront Yusha on reaching out to Joy behind her back. And he doesn't think that he did anything wrong. And that's the problem. That is the problem right there, the smite. Because no way are you contacting another woman behind my back. And I know a lot of you don't even care for Winter or whatever, for whatever reason. But if your man... <laughs> was sitting up here contacting some woman that he know through you behind your back and didn't even tell you and calling this woman to apologize when you have feelings towards an incident that happened with this woman and it's like he's taking her side over your you're not gonna tell me you're not gonna feel some type of way like you're not you're simply not so um Winter lets him know that if he can't protect her, then she'll be single. Like, cause I don't have time to be playing no games with you. No. Mm -mm. And you supposed to have my back. Don't mean that you supposed to have my back and just let me do whatever, even if you don't agree or if, I, if I'm in the wrong. But in this case, you should have sat back and played your position, which is to stay mute and cute. <laughs> so Ashley and Joy meet up to talk. And they both apologize to each other. And it seems like we're making leeway. It seems like them talking one-on-one -on -one was actually what needed to happen. Um, it seemed like they were about to come back together until Ashley says that she does not like Clifton. And Quick doesn't like him because she doesn't like him. And Ashley goes on to say that people say, I'm a mean girl. I can spot a mean girl from a mile away. Clifton is a mean girl. <laughs> and I was like, well, <laughs> this conversation is gone as shit. <laughs> Ain't no coming back for that. Because, I mean, as his wife, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, you don't like my husband. You're calling him sassy. You're calling him a girl and all of those things. Like, so, yeah, there is no point of us having this conversation because at the end of the day, whether or not me and you make up, you're not going to be able to sit here and talk about my husband or any type of way. As his wife, it's my job to stick up for my husband, just like it's Quick's job to have Ashley's back. So it literally is a stalemate. And it goes back to what Ashley said to Arena that I don't like her husband. So there's no way for us to be friends, honestly and truly. You know what I'm saying? Um, they can be cordial, but there's really no way to come back from that. So this conversation at this point is null and void. It didn't even have to happen because y'all about to start arguing all over again. You just said this lady face and called her husband a mean girl. Like, yeah, that's not gonna fly. So... That was pretty much it for this week's episode of Love and Marriage DC. Um, I'm going to give this week's episode mm, a C plus. It was cute. It was cute for what it was. By the way, you guys, my novel, It Was All a Dream, is on sale for free download over at Amazon.com. Make sure you download your copy for free and dig in. It is the sequel to my hit novel, Dream. Um, so cop dream first, then, uh, open up your free download of it was all a dream and read that as well. You're going to get your life as some of my best work ever. It'll be on sale for free until Wednesday. So you have until Wednesday for your free download. The link is down below in the description box. I love you guys. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.